orbitals so uh, as you can see here degenerate orbitals are orbitals that have, that have the same energy so they are all they all are, they are all at the same energy level so they have same energy but when they split into two energy levels they are no longer degenerate because these have a different energy to these so they become non degenerate orbitals so these become non degenerate orbitals so in case of the copper example that we took over here we have 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9 so we have 9 electrons so if you see that there is space for one electron in this orbital so what happens is that this, these electrons absorb energy and this energy is absorbed in the visible right region so they absorb photons of visible light they absorb photons of visible light and as they absorb photons of visible light that correspond to this energy gap they jump so th this electron will jump to this uh, orbital and uh, because a photon will be absorbed so this photon can be a photon of red color blue color green color or whatever color so whatever color that is absorbed is the the, the complement of that color is emitted so for example if this electron absorbs red to jump to this energy level then we will see a blue color so what happens in the case of the copper solution is that one electron absorbs a photon of visible light energy that corresponds to the red wavelength and since it absorbs the red wavelength what we see that is what is reflected is the opposite of red which is blue because uh, the, spec the visible light spectrum goes from blue or violet to red and that's why we see blue so that's how this happens this energy gap corresponds to the red wavelength and uh, similar so uh, the, and this is for octahedral complexes this splitting is for octahedral complexes now the, and, and now we know why we see this color now let's see what happens for tetrahedral complexes So in the case of tetrahedral complexes, we again get splitting, but this time we have the dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals over here in the lower energy level, and we have the dxy, dxz, and dyz orbitals in the higher energy level. So, uh, so th this is completely opposite of. Uh, of octahedral but uh, the, but the same thing happens in each case uh, we get a, an electron jumps from the lower energy level to the higher energy level and uh, yeah, because it absorbs a, uh, because it absorbs visible light radiation and it gains energy so it jumps from this energy level to this energy level and the color that is absorbed depends on the energy gap because the energy gap determines the wavelength of, infra of visible light that is absorbed. So this energy gap is called the DD energy gap. You can use this term in your answer. DD energy gap. And that's why we see color. Now, um, a very important thing to remember is, let's go back to our octahedral complex I am uh, going to show you something so oh, wait sorry yeah so just let's go back to our octahedral complex we had 3 over here and we had 2 over here So, uh, if you see the uh, so and just remember this term DD energy gap. Now I said that for this complex ion, we uh, this one. I'm not writing the displayed structure because it's going to be it's going to take a lot of time. So I'll just write the condensed form because by now you know all these structures. So Cu H2O. Whole six two plus 
So you know that this is a pale blue solution because the DD energy gap.